All right, so um, finally, it's really hot here in Texas today. Uh, well, relatively hot. Humidity is, I don't know, but um, you can look it up. I live in Austin, Texas, and um, it's um, it feels sticky outside, so it's probably pretty high. Anyway, um, I've been driving for a good while now uh, with the force induction and a chiller. It is, according to that, it's 90 degrees Fahrenheit, and that is my cabin temps. Uh, the lowest I've seen it so far today was like 43, 42. I just, I was just stopped just a second ago. So I mean, that's that's not even one degree in Celsius. But um, um, 44, uh, just cruising right now. IT2s are, it was at 58 earlier, probably fall the more I drive. But that's 60. Um, so we're, we're sitting 30 degrees below um, ambient. If uh, that's correct, it probably, it feels like it's a bit hotter out here, but that might be the humidity. So, but, um, it's, yeah, there's 91, so it's probably close to like 95 or 96, something like that. And there's 43. It's real chilly in here. It feels good. Um, something I take my family in. Uh, IAT2s of uh, 60. Um, right now, just uh, getting ready to hit some good old Austin traffic. If anybody been to Austin, y'all know. So pretty much. This will dispel all the people that are saying, oh, wait till the summertime, wait till the summertime. This is gonna be my weather from this point on out. I don't know why people feel that, um, um, I don't have anything in this, man. I'm just trying to help everybody else out. It works. Uh, I'm going to the track tonight. Uh, the car will run consistent because the IAT2s will be low, 92, so it's even hotter. And that's 44 degrees in the car. Um, you charge it right, it'll be great. Um, the IAT2s will usually get uh, much um, cooler than this, uh, but with uh, when it when it's on um, cabin and chiller, uh, you're I'm taking away from uh, the chiller. So, uh, but if I put it on chiller only, um, it would drop probably down to um, I don't know. It'll drop. It'll drop lower. I have no clue what it would drop to, but probably in the 40s, most likely, on a 92 degree day. So I'm not tripping. Uh, I'll figure out what the humidity is and report. So anyway, man, y'all see it. This is a two minute video and I've been already driving the car for about 15, 20 minutes, 92 degrees, 60 IAT2s. Um, hey, it's whatever. Um, believe it or not, you do what you want. This is a force induction and a chiller. Um, I can't speak on other setups. I don't really care about other setups. I just know the one that I have works. Um, 93, yep, figured it was hotter. It felt like it was hotter. So um, my whole deal is my cabin AC is, is uh, good and cold. It's all I care about. It's all I care about. And it's obvious that, and I'm in traffic right now, as you can see. So, um, the, um, the chiller works. If, if the cabin AC works, the chiller works. The chiller just gets way colder. So, um, so yeah, good to go. Um, got any questions, um, uh, ask me, contact, uh, um, forced induction in a chiller, but it works. I mean, it's summertime for us. We'll, we'll we usually get about 100, you know, 99, 100 every day. And uh, my cabin temps probably won't get, won't change. I doubt it, you know. So anyway, four minute video. So this is a long video. Um, just uh, there you go. You guys got it. Uh, make your decisions wisely. Might cost, some things might cost a little bit more, but I'd rather buy what I know works. So um, buy wisely. Yeah, those are still right at the same it's not even a degree difference in um in celsius so that little change makes no difference it's still solid i ain't tripping works great y'all take care